So you just got your brand new Ready Player Me avatar and now you want to customize it. Well, you came to the right place. Let's do this. Ready Player Me just released these three new avatars, so we're going to use them as an example. I'm going to use the light blue one. I like the solid colors. What do is go ahead and download the GLB file. Make sure that you put it on your desktop somewhere where you can find it easy. Next, we're going to load up Blender. And don't worry, we're going to keep this tutorial simple. Go to File, Import, Import, GLB. Navigate to where your file is saved and hit Import. Then you want to go to the top tab and we are looking for shading. Then at the bottom left hand side of your screen, we're looking for a image icon. Scroll down till you find cheer top and then we're looking for the one that ends with the letter D. Then click the menu button. We're going to hit image and then save as. Make sure you save it somewhere you can remember. Then we're going to do the exact same thing for the pants. Now we need to load up Photoshop. Find those files that you saved. You're going to grab them, drag and drop. This can be on any editing software. I prefer Photoshop. You want to make sure you duplicate your file just in case. And from here, you can have all the creative freedom you want. What I did was I grabbed my logo, I dragged and dropped it, sized it up, then I added my name, Tribe Grey Wolf VR, gave it a nice little arch, right clicked on the text file, went to blending modes, and then added a nice little black outline. Don't forget to put your logo on the wristband. That's where the tiny icon is up top. Next, what I did is added a black and white filter, and then I added contrast to make it go from white and blue to black and white. Then I do the same thing with the pants. Hit save as, and save it with my avatar. Now we're gonna go back into Blender. We're gonna click on the t-shirt. We're looking for base color. And hit the little folder image. Click on the image we just made in Photoshop. Do the same thing with the pants. And boom, we went from Grey Wolf to Jan Jan the cheerleading man. <laughs> Don't forget to save your blend file. Then you want to do file, export, FBX. Now we just need to load up Neos. Locate the files we just made in Blender. We're going to drag and drop right into Neos. Then you want to hit 3D model, regular, humanoid, run import. Just like that, you have your very own cheerleading squad. My name is Trav Greywolf. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And I'll see you on the next one.